Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the randomness of life uh, coming at you all. Um, actually, getting ready to do my uh, talks about a couple of issues. Actually, it's one main particular issue that I've noticed um, that's been going on. This isn't new for 2013. This has been going on for a while, and I actually want to kind of just you know touch on that a little bit. And what I wanted to talk about is the dangers of the destructive black images that we see. And some of you all may be wondering, hey, Randomness, what are you talking about? Actually, what I'm talking about is some of the things that you're seeing not only on the uh, news stations, you know, the Foxes and the ABCs, whatever your local station is in your town, city, wherever you are in the world, but also uh, some of these things that we see on YouTube and on uh, World Star Hip Hop and all these other sites. Um... What I'm talking about is some of the destructive behavior that we see with the fights, particularly with the uh, females and also with the guys. I've been seeing a lot of things um, going on and it's one thing to live a life, you know, that may be considered hard or, you know, tough, or whatever. But then it's another thing to have someone that is actually uh, filming these things and showing them off to the world. I mean, that is something that I really have an issue with. Um, for one, to be someone who says that you're against snitching, like so many so-called tough cats, you know, talk about, you know, if you're talking about stop snitching and no snitching, and you have the, you know, the audacity to record video footage of an incident where some dirt may be going on and put it out there to the world, um, that is a form of snitching, even if you want to call it dry snitching, but that's really not cool because something that could have been, you know, kept under wraps or a little situation that somebody had, you know, now it's presented for the whole world to see because unfortunately the world, you know, kind of gets intrigued by filth and dramatic situations, which isn't necessarily the best thing, but hey, this is what goes down. So this is why I say, okay, it's a little hypocritical to say, stop snitching, don't snitch. And then you have this video of a fight or something like that showing out to the entire world so now um i guess in a legal case it does help you know so now people the authorities law enforcement can actually review the footage of a particular situation and they can use that as evidence you know to decide if they want to proceed with pressing charges or or not so there you have a case in your hand thanks to somebody with their phone you know their smartphone which is doing a dumb thing you know, and like I heard someone say, you know, you're sitting here trying to be Spike Lee, but you won't do the right thing and try to intervene that fight, but or that situation. But it is what it is. So, you know, that's that's one aspect of it. Um, another aspect of this whole situation, when you are actually uh, seeing these kind of things, is it creates a bad look. You know, a really really bad look to the world because unfortunately. We live in a world today where people are seeing certain images of certain people and this is what's getting the most hits. Not somebody getting a 4.0 on their GPA and their grades in school or not somebody out there doing some good work for the community. Those kind of things aren't getting major hits on these social media and social websites or the YouTubes as they should. Um, unfortunately, what's getting more hits and more notice are these fights. So what that does is for people who don't know or who haven't been around people enough, particularly black people, they tend to think that this represents everybody. Nothing could be further from the truth. And one thing that I don't really think is necessary is to go out and prove to other races that you are somebody. You need to prove that to yourself first. You know, it's only the inferiority complex within some of, uh, some of our people that feel like we have to go out and actually prove to others that we are actually somebody by trying to say hey we're not this group we're not that group because no matter how much you do that there are people that will look at videos like this on top of their already crazy rhetoric and say see this is what they represent and unfortunately um we have a lot of people who just buy right into that and will say oh you know what this is what they are see go on youtube this will tell you where when people don't realize that in that sense, YouTube is kind of a facade in some ways. Now, of course, 
that may have been a real moment that some individuals have had, particularly with the young ladies fighting or the young men fighting or whatever else you see. But that doesn't represent people all the time. That is not what they always do. But unfortunately, um, because of the destruction, the those unfortunate situations, those negative stereotypes tend to get exponential attention for some odd reason. And there could be a number of reasons for that. There could be an, an intent to actually, you know, say this is how we can use something to destroy this particular group of people. See, there's one saying um, that I heard before. And I say that saying and I so, so, so agree with it. And that saying is, you have to season that fish before you fry it. You have to season it up real good. So, when you look at the things like the young man in Arkansas who was shot with his arms behind his back, when you look at the situation with the young man in the bar station in, in the Bay Area in California who got killed, when you look at Trayvon Martin, when you look at a number of, numer number of other situations, excuse me, um, these things, Although they're tragic, you have some that say, well, hey, these are nothing but gang members anyway. Um, these are nothing but savages anyway. I mean, look at what they do on YouTube. So when you see this footage on YouTube that shows them getting into it or, you know, brawling or everything um, or just any other type of foolishness, then for those who may say, okay, when this kid gets shot, when this young lady gets hurt, when this person gets hurt, they say, you know what? This is a messed up group of people anyway. So actually, the person that is harming them, that has put hurt on them, we should not be mad at them because guess what? They did us a favor. I mean, for goodness sake, they're savages. Gee whiz. Unfortunately, that is a belief. That's not an accurate belief, but that is a belief on all people of the uh, in the black community, you know? if we're going to use the term community for the most part. Um, so, when you look at this, this is why I say there's a danger when you have these videos getting this much attention. I mean, some people look at it for entertainment purposes, but there's an underlying message and that's saying this is the representation. So then others could say, okay, good. They needed to be heard anyway. These are a messed up group of people, which is so unfair. So, I know me putting this out here may not necessarily stop it right away. Maybe it will create some thoughts in the minds of those who may not realize this kind of thing that is going on. They may not have even acknowledge that this could uh, create that kind of image or create that kind of belief that, hey, these people deserve to get shot when they're handcuffed or shot while walking and they don't have any weapons because they're savages anyway. Because unfortunately, there's a lot of people that think that. I mean... This is one reason why when I look at violence or see violence on the on the news where, you know, somebody gets hurt, particularly from the community, I I look at it and I say, um, you know what, I don't even like to read the comments in the news section because you can hear some of the most racist things in the comments section. You know, from trolls who actually would not say anything any of this in person, but they feel comfortable getting behind the computer and making bad statements like that which is uh very unfortunate but hey you know what we have bigger fish to fry than somebody who's hiding behind the computer stating thoughts about a whole group of people based on the account of a few because i mean when you look at it the unfortunate hypocrisy of the whole situation is with sandy hook with waco texas with um, the Denver shooting, with the Arizona shooting, with a number of others that don't even get reported, but some of these get a lot of reports. I mean, they're still, with the powers that be who have the power to define, you will not see individuals that look like those who may have committed those crimes having to go through being profiled as much as those who don't look like them because of certain crimes that were committed. That's one thing that's not going to happen. So, we could talk about why that is. I mean, some of us already know why that is. Let me just throw out one example. For one, because they come from a community of people that will actually stand up and say, hey, this is not going to go on too long. We're not just going to march. 
we're gonna go we're gonna boycott certain things we're gonna not support certain things we are gonna pick it but we're also gonna put action behind it for social justice so at the end of the day it's all about social justice and i think that's what uh people on this earth want and trust and believe um everyone wants that even those from the black community that go through these unfortunate uh situations where they're being profiled so just a little something to think about and i just want to touch on that so anyway um i'm just glad to have been able to touch on that with you all and um i'll definitely touch on more situations once again this is the randomness of life subscribe to the page leave your comments or whatever you know hey um everyone take care of yourselves and each other peace